I'm Jeff and I am the owner of Clean Ease Cleaning Products and I wanted to show you today how to clean a ceramic shower. This is a ceramic shower with four inch tiles as hopefully the camera's picking up here we're starting to get some soap scum here that's a little pink. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of mold in the grout. The, the tile is in pretty good shape. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to clean this these grout lines uh, we get this asked all the time how do i do it being a vertical surface it's pretty difficult because gravity is going to fight you all the way um, we suggest grouties to clean it we suggest either having our handheld brush that's v to get into the grout lines or our stand-up brush if you uh, have a bigger shower and you can't get in it like I'm in the shower now, you can kind of stand outside of it, you can get at it, you can scrub everything and then rinse it away. I'm going to do it with the handheld because I'm able to get into this small shower. We just took the shower doors off. So all you do, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to, bring the camera down if you can, right? You're going to want to cover your drain up with a towel. So if the product starts rolling down, because it's designed to come down into the drain, this will catch a lot of it. And then you can use it, get that back up on the wall, put some gloves on. Uh, don't let it all just go down the drain. That's kind of silly. And I also wanted to show you, this has some bad caulk around the base. A lot of showers have that. Um, it's a fiberglass base, so it flexes. So you really want to put caulk there so it will flex with it. Grout will just crack out. Um, but grouties will not clean that. It just won't clean anything in that caulk. As of, where are we at now? May 2021, we don't have anything to clean mold out of caulk. But we're working on it. We're getting close. We are definitely working on it. But for right now, if you wanted to get rid of that, I would rip out that caulk and replace it with new and be done once every five years or so, something like that. Okay, so when it comes to grouties, cleaning the grout lines, you're just gonna wanna shake it up, apply it. As you can see, it runs down the wall. Start high and let it hit all those grout lines that you're going to be cleaning. You're going to want to let it sit, but as you can see, probably it's starting to roll down to the drain already. But I always use that. I just dip my brush in it. If I have a stand up, I don't have to bend down as much. You're going to want to let it sit as long as you can on a vertical surface. I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. On the floor, you can let it sit five to 10 minutes like we suggest. It might take a little more scrubbing depending on how bad it is now. And just start scrubbing away. Oh, hopefully you got that. It just came right off. <laughs> I just don't, you never know how bad the dirt is to some of these grub lines. I don't think I got that one, so it's not doing anything. You getting that, Ryan? Yep. I never got that one. But, okay, so now I've scrubbed those. I've done what I can. How do I rinse this? If you have a handheld shower nozzle, those are great. Take it off, turn the shower on, rinse it down. If not, you can take a spray bottle with water and just rinse it off, or you can take a towel, wet it like I did earlier, and just wipe it down. It's a little more work than spraying it off with your handheld nozzle, but it'll take it off. As you can see, came nice and clean. Some are gonna be harder. Some are going to be easier. This one isn't in bad shape. Just a little bit. It looks like mold starting to grow on there. So just a little bit of that on there, and I wanted to get it off for these people. If your shower's in bad shape, and you can, I suggest opening a window, running a pressure washer hose through the window, leaving the pressure washer outside. This is the way we used to do it in the service business. We had 200 feet of hose so we could run it from anywhere. But if you can, then stand outside of your shower, maybe keep your doors on or your shower curtain and spray it off. 
give it a little bit of extra pressure to get all that crap off of there and you're going to see even better results. Here you don't really need that, but if it's in rough shape, it's been a long time, a pressure washer will be your best friend. And everything will go right down the drain and you won't have any problems. You can scrub the tile like that, you can scrub the grout, let it dry for 24 hours, go back, put a sealer on it, and you'll be good to go. I hope this helps. We're gonna go through and finish cleaning up the rest of this shower, and uh, we're gonna be done. Any questions, let us know. We're always here to help. Thanks for watching.